Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Ranked Roulette series. We are into week three of this new series. We've had two weeks prior to now. If you've missed any of those and you'd like to go back and check out the craziness from the last couple of weeks on the channel, then click up here, I'll put a card up. You can check those out and then come back to this one today to continue the entertainment. So I hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far. It has been really good. We had a great couple of suggestions last week on the channel from you guys to change things up as we're going forward, just to give ourselves a little bit more of an advantage going into battles because we aren't putting together really cohesive teams. We're at the end of a format where everyone seems to have a really solid team. So we're at an even bigger disadvantage. So to give ourselves a little bit of a leg up here, what we're gonna do, great suggestions last week from the guys so thank you so much for all those suggestions was to select four pokemon from the wheel non-restricted pokemon and then go over to a restricted wheel and then pick our two restricted pokemon based on that team but i'm not quite gonna do that i'm not gonna get, make it that easy for myself i'm just gonna make sure that we do have two restricted pokemon going into this week now if it doesn't work out this week we can make sure to pick our restricted pokemon next week but let me know down in the comment section what you think about that so we'll get into the team selection for this week very soon just a big shout out to all of you for all of the nominations that we've had for Pokemon going into the wheel this week. I'm very excited about this week's team. It should be quite good. And just on the back of that as well, one of the things that I wanted to do uh, before we get into the episode today was to just say a huge thank you to each and every one of you for all of the support that I've had, especially over the last month and a half. Um, since Thea was born. Uh, it's been really difficult on my side of things making sure that content is being kept up on the channel and uh, you guys have been absolutely incredible. So just a little thank you. This is it's, it's not very much but it's just what I can do at the minute. And just a little thank you to all of you guys. I'm going to have a little giveaway this week on the channel for one of these lovely brand new with tags on flinch squad hats so it's a i heart flinch hat it's pretty cool i'll uh, obviously not send this one because you guys probably don't want a pre-worn hat but i'm giving this away to one of you lucky people this week if i had the money to give each and every one of you a hat away i would do it but unfortunately at the minute i can't hopefully one day that would be amazing wouldn't it um but yes one of you lucky people can can win this hat all you need to do any video this week is just leave a like and leave a comment it can be about anything it can be just saying hi it can be slating me slating the team loving the team whatever you want you'll be put into a draw for this hat it will be drawn at the beginning of next week on Monday select the winner in the wheel of fortune we'll do that and uh, I'll have this shipped out to one of you lucky people, but just a big thank you. I really do appreciate all the support. And it just goes to show what an amazing community we have here on the channel, all you Flinch Squad members. And the other news that we have is, I wanna give a little bit back to our patrons who do support the channel outside of just the YouTube channel. Um, and uh, we've created a brand new button. So we've got three buttons already. We've got a legend maker, our switch up and a randomizer. We're going to throw in a new Patreon button so we can add that into the mix as well. So after day two of our one week cycle, we can activate any of these buttons. And the Patreon button is one that I put a post up on the Patreon site asking those guys specifically what Pokemon they'd like to see in the team. And if we feel like we need to have a, just a little bit of an extra leg up, we can activate that button as well. So we've got that to look forward to. But without further ado, my friends, Thank you again for all of the nominations. Let's head over to the wheel to draw our four non-restricted Pokemon for this week's team. So we'll be right back. God, this is incredible. We've actually got, <laughs> I feel like we've got a really good basis 
for a good team this week. So we're relying heavily on these restricted Pokemon. We've got the Perugly. Defiant puts off those Intimidators, which is massively helpful. Fast Fake Out as well, something we've always wanted. Oranguru, Mega Binet, and Garchomp. Garchomp, one of my favorite dragons. So, and a Ground type as well. So, without further ado, let's see what our restricted Pokemon pairing is going to be this week. I'm praying, I'm hoping, guys. So, let's head over to the wheel. Let's see what we get drawn out. Restricted pairing this week. We've got an incredible restricted pairing. We've got Xerneas and we've got Eveltal, the XY combination. I literally cannot believe this. Now, guys, I do, I do do a draw on a really crummy online wheel because I can't fit all of the selections into the wheels that I have animation-wise. So I do it separately. I record it. I've got the raw footage there. It's not a setup. This is not a setup. This is all genuine. If you want that recorded there. Uh, video let me know I'll post it up it'll be the most boring video ever but you will see a fancy wheel that's online so it might be a cup of tea but we've got an incredible team thank you to all the nominations obviously we had Black Dragon who suggested the Pro Ugly we had Derek Z with the Oranguru Kevin with Mega Burnett, Jeremy with that Garchomp, we had Eugenio actually suggesting the Avelto, and then Command Blocked with the Xerneas. So the two suggestions, and we had more restricted selections suggested, but they were suggested, so they did come out. There must have been some magic in the air, but we've got an absolutely fantastic team this week. I feel really good about this. I feel good that we can climb eventually above 1500. We've got a team to do it so here is the team as always the team is down in the description below there is a roll paste a poker paste if you want to check out the details i'll quickly go over everything before we get into it today so the per ugly we've got a focus sash in there just to keep it around a bit longer torn faker giga impact and fake tears to help out with that xerneas we've got the oranguru i haven't went for trick room i don't feel like this team needs trick room but we can do that later in the week if you want to got ally switch it really helps support that mega Burnett as well Especially with that ghost resistance that the Oranguru has and how prominent things like Lunala and Mega Gengar are. It does give Mega Burnett an opportunity to get the Phantom Force off, which is really quite a strong attack. Uh, the Oranguru also has Ally Switch, the Instruct to get double attacks off with things like Garchomp and the rest of the team. Um, and then Protect and Side Shock. Then we got the Mega Burnett. Incredible use of Prankster with things like Disable. Destiny Bond, Protect Phantom Force there. We've got the Garchomp, we've put a Scarf on it this week because I was originally gonna go Z-Move there, but I've went for the Z-Move on Xerneas. We've went for the Ferrinium Z because it's something I've wanted to use all season and I have never got round to using. So we can get the double Geomancy boost if we play our cards right. And that is gonna be something incredible. And then rounding off with an Assault Vessi Veltal. Now, as I say always, we can change up the sets. We can change anything up with this team as we go further on into the week. We've got options of Trick Room here. Got some options at Tailwind, obviously with the Veltal. Um, and we've got our buttons that we can activate come Wednesday. So. I'm going to say it without further ado, let's get some music on, my friends. I'm still very hair fevery. I'm, I'm going to sympathize. I hope none of you out there suffer with hair fever because it's terrible at this time of the year. Being allergic to plants is <laughs> a weird thing. But yes, let's get some music on. Uh, I need to get the white screen. Let's see our rating. Oh, 1382. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know if we can even get out of 1500. If we win every match this week, I'm guessing we probably could. It's not going to be easy, but we've got a good chance to do it this week. So as always, guys, if you do enjoy this content, remember to drop a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel, as always, for more Pokemon content. It will be coming out very soon, and leave your comments to make sure you can enter the draw. If nothing else, for this lovely hat. Um, so let's get into team preview against our first opponent. I believe they might be a, a road to ranked roulette player as well because they don't have any restricted Pokemon. Um, we've got a team of Greninja, Gastrodon, Toxicroak, Whimsicott, Incineroar, and Lucario. So Lucario could potentially be a mega here. Um, 
double water, lots of stuff that does well against Kyogre really, set up against Kyogre really well. Can we get around this team though? There's lots of like tricksy Pokemon that are gonna be difficult to deal with. Of course the Whimsicott with its speed control, Toxicroak with its fake out, Incineroar there. Again, the fake out, uh, Intimidate and the Greninja as well. I'm gonna lead with Purgly, it's kind of solid here. I wonder if we could go um, Purgly Xerneas. They've got to have a way to really shut down Xerneas, so that's the thing. So I feel like maybe we keep the Xerneas in the back for later. Um, we could... Uh, no, we'll go Xerneas. I'm going to do that. Um, and then I'm going to bring Garchomp for sure, because the Scarf will just be generally good. And yeah, let's go Eveltal. Bring a Restricted Pairing. We could have brought Burnett. Burnett probably would have done quite well here. Just worry about the Whimsicott with Taunt. That's the only thing. But, ah, oh, ah, oh, after so many weeks, of, and I'm not saying the teams that we've been playing are bad, because they've been really fun, and all the Pokemon made up within those teams have been incredible, but to finally have a team that I feel like this could win matches, <laughs> it makes everything feel so much better, so see what we can do. It's a little bit away from the norm, but still... Still gonna be good. Uh, okay, so Greninja and Incineroar. We're gonna probably see uh, the Greninja with Gunk Shot. I would imagine it's gonna be what it has, isn't it? Um, hmm. Do we just trade fake outs here? I mean, we could fake out and go for uh, just. Or we, we could just dazzling gleam. I do suspect that the the Incineroar could have raw. Um, I definitely do, but we could also try and go for the, the, the Z Geomancy here as well. Let's just do it. Let's just try it. If we get it, we get it. If we don't, we don't. It's a fake out. Man, this crazy damage. Fake out. Yeah, just trading those there. I don't mind this too much because this all gives us the opportunity now to get rid of this Greninja with a, a Giga Impact. So we'll we'll do that. It feels a bit overkill, but. Getting rid of that Pokemon is going to be quite useful for us because I do feel like the Greninja probably does have um, Gunk Shot or potentially something like uh, the Poisonium Z um, and we can't add Speed Greninja so that would be a good way just to get rid of, get rid of, there's the Gunk Shot, turn into that Poison type. Protein's such a good ability isn't it, it really is, uh, Greninja, oh! Kidding! We'll have to go for it again. Um, uh, and bring in Garchomp. Let's bring in the Garchomp. And then we've got the Scarf there. And then we can potentially switch out Purgly the next turn and just Earthquake. And hopefully that'll be enough to get the Greninja. Extreme speed. Doosh, doosh, doosh. Okay. And another Gunk Shot. Yeah. I didn't realize a Giga Impact could miss. I need to check out its accuracy. That does quite a lot of damage to Garchomp. Who resists that? Um, just shows how strong Greninja is, really. There we go. There we go. We get it this time. Good job, Purgly. We can't obviously switch Purgly out this next turn, but it's kind of, it's going to be all right, isn't it? Probably see Incineroar come back in now. Um, which you don't mind. We get another Defined boost, of course. It's going to be Gastrodon. Gastrodon. All right, uh, we have to. Um, do we actually stay in with Garchomp? Probably not. I'm gonna just switch out into Evelto here. That's probably not the best idea, but I think that the Gastron probably goes Ice Beam into the Garchomp, and uh, I'd rather keep Garchomp like till the late game. That's always kind of the best way with a Scarf user, isn't it? Only keeping it around just to pick things off at the very end. We're gonna see Lucario Mega Evolve. Now I think Mega Lucario and Perugly actually speed tie. We do speed tie. There's Drain Punch. This won't take us down. It'll take us down to our Sash. We've got all that juicy health for Lucario. Um, but I wonder if we can. If they don't double up. Oh yeah, there's the Ice Beam. Okay. That's, that's alright, isn't it? It's fine. Uh, Giga Impact into the Gastrodon and let's go for an Oblivion Wing into Lucario. 
extreme speed. Ah, uh, okay. That's fine. Poor, poor ugly. Doing all the work there. Let's see how much this does. Be interesting, it's neutral. Ah, uh, it's decent, it's decent, isn't it? I think we have to worry about like the close combat from the Lucario. It might be an idea this next turn to bring in Garchomp now, just the Earthquake. Um, and then s potentially Snarl the Gastrodon. We do have to watch out for Clear Smog on the Gastrodon, of course, as well, because it's a really, actually, decent Xerneas check. But one of the things we could potentially do, we don't have to Geomancy with the, the Ferranium either. We can... We can go for... Um, it's just Snarl. Uh, yeah, we can go for the, the Z Moonblast as well, which is about the same power as what you would get from a Geomancy Moonblast, roughly. Along the same lines. So, yeah. It's like a Moonblast without having a Geomancy. And you can still two-turn Geomancy if you want afterwards. Obviously, we, we, we don't have the ability to go for... Um, a one turn Geomancy without the power her, but I don't mind that too much. Garchomp putting in the work, getting rid of the Lucario. Gastrodon and Incineroar left against our restricted pairing. I think we're going to be probably alright, to be honest. As we can just dazzle and snarl. And then we've got the Incineroar, which I'm hoping we can take down with Azonius Z move. Twinkle Tackle, it's probably the most powerful fairy Z move in the game, I think. I would imagine. With the. The, the fairy or a boost yeah it's gotta be it's gotta be um let's dazzle and go for a oblivion wing into the gastrodon they can only fake out one target so uh now fake out just yeah we're gonna get rid of the uh, the gastrodon xerneas doing its work this feels good Good getting to an end of a game where I feel like nothing can go wrong. And there's the uh, Incineroar taking a bit of damage. What are we going to see Incineroar do? Drain Punch. Drain Punch Incineroar. Nice. Okay. I like that. <laughs> not something you see every day. It's definitely not. This guy could be the Roulette Man as well. From Japan. Uh, right. Let's go for it. Let's go for Overkill. Twinkle Tackle. Moonblast. Um, and yeah, you you do whatever, Evelto. But this should be enough. Oh, I forfeit. He didn't let us get the win. But very good game to my opponent, and a nice, nice way for us to kick off today, easing us into it with the new team, and we get a win. So records at the ready. Get the pen, the winning pen. Win percentage, losing percentage, we've got one win. So 100% win record right at the minute. So things looking pretty good, dear. Heating up nicely. So let's continue on. Uh, we'll hop over to our screen. Let's see if I... Rating has improved a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Um, I'll tell you what. No, let's go Galadian because Galadian music is pretty cool. We haven't had this for a long time on the channel. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long to find upon it. You know what? I'm looking at this this record right here. 13 wins, 23 losses. I'm hoping we can uh, tie that up over the next couple of weeks. That would be, be really nice. <laughs> It'd be really nice. But we're nearly back to 1,400, so we just need 100 points. We can totally get above 1,500 by the end of the week. Like we get to I was a bit... Mm, can we do it? Have we got enough games to do this? We've got enough games to do it. If we're getting that many points off uh, that kind of opponent that we just played who's similar points to us, then I think we can do it. We've got Ryder up next, so very cool username. And uh, let's get into team preview. Okay, so Ryder running a team of Tapu Koko requires a Xerneas, a Moongus, Incineroar, and Suicune. So we've got uh, Speed Control looking like it's coming from the Suicune primarily. Could have uh, Electro Web on the Coco. Uh, you've got support Mons in the Amoongus and Incineroar there. Fake out support, Intimidate support, then, then the redirection from the Amoongus. Um, and then the two restricteds obviously going to be that X ray combination, which are very strong. So we need to be a little bit careful around that. Could this be a good game for Bennett? Maybe. I just like the Z Destiny Bond that it does have access to. It might be something we could keep in the back potentially to to uh, to utilize. Um, hmm. 
Perugly seems very good. Garchomp also seems like something I would like to bring. Uh, the scarf here just acts so nicely. Um, let's go Perugly. Let's go Xerneas. Let's go Banette. And do we go Garchomp in the back as well? Yeah. Let's try this. Yeah, let's lock in. Good luck to Ryder. Let's see if we can do this. Come on. Come on. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. I feel good about it. I feel like we can we can get two wins. We haven't when was the last time we had two wins? Like, have we even done that yet? On this series? I don't think we have. Okay, so there's Perugly. And Xerneas for ourselves. And Sinner or Xerneas. Ideal. Ideal. Okay. So We've actually got Taunt as well on our Perugly, so we can actually shut down that Xerneas. So I don't mind trading Fake Outs turn 1 for sure. Um, and then we can potentially get... I wonder if a, a boosted Giga Impact will get an Incineroar as well. This could work out pretty nicely if we can we can work this. So let's go Fake Out. Let's go Z Geomancy. Yeah, let's try it. Be nice if the Incineroar decided I'm not gonna fake out here. I'm gonna I'm gonna pivot out and bring Amoongus in. We'll probably just trade fake outs here. Does so much damage. Boosted. Stab as well, I guess, yeah. So right now now we go for the Z the Z Geomancy. Let's go for the taunt into the Xerneas. Let's see if we can do it this time. I'm determined to get this working. We've obviously got to spend a turn where we can't um where we can't attack, so we get the, the Z move here for the, the initial boosts. There's the Geomancy, so here we go. <laughs> I've not done this all season. I've seen players do it. It's something I thought about at the very start of this format. Well, in the Moon series, primarily, when we got access to those Z moves, first of all. We're well, absorbing light, so we get the, uh, those boosts. Hopefully we don't see Raw on it in Cinema. That would be terrible. Uh, that's a, yeah, okay. So Incineroar coming out, um, Amoongus I'm guessing probably comes in, but we've got the taunt. The problem is though, uh, actually, maybe a plus one Giga Impact could get an Amoongus. If it does, that's probably better, yeah, because it's going to have clear smog and that would that would totally ruin us. Can we do this? Come on Perugly. Please, if we get this, I think we win the match. I think if we get the Amoongus, as long as it's not sashed, that could be a sticking point for us, of course. But Perugly faster than the Xerneas, it is taunted, it can't do very much. The Amoongus has to really go for this clear smog here because we get the Z, the Z boosts. Um, but if this Giga Impact, this Perugly, this little kitty, plus one, can um, can pick up the knockout on the Amoongus, then we're, we are in a great position. It's all about this Amoongus knockout. Come on, Perugly, let's do this. We hit, we hit, come on. Oh, it's not strong enough at all, it's so weak. It's so weak. <laughs> oh, clear smog incoming. Ugh. No. This is why the uh, power herb would be better. <sighs> All that work. All that work for nothing. Um. Hmm. Now what do we do? We could bring Garchomp in, but uh, do we go Garchomp, Rock Slide, Geomancy again? Get some flinches. Mm. Let's try a geomancy again. I think we need we need the geomancy to beat the Rayquaza when it comes in at the end. Hopefully we can get some flinches. Like if we don't, we could potentially use Garchomp here to uh, whatever Xerneas really throws out at us. Two rock slides though. If we get if we get if we get a flinch here on the Xerneas then we're in a good position to get our Geomancy up 
Not gonna happen. And Gochamp actually survives, so. Okay. We need to win the speed tie, though, with the opposing Xerneas, and we still need to flinch it, I think, as well. That's the thing. So we'll have to go for that rock slide again. We'll try this. We're getting greedy, though. But if we can force this, this might be this might be the way to do it. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. I really want to get two wins on the roll, and I feel like we could do this. It's going to be Incineroar. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Come on. Just flinch. Garchomp, come on. Flinch squad. Let's do this. Garchomp. This is why you're here. You are the flinch machine. Believe it. Believe it, Garchomp. Come on. Come on. Yes! <laughs> so we get it. Come on. Xerneas, let's do this. Let's do this. Camera, focus. Focus, camera. Okay, so. Now, where do you fake out? Do you fake out a Garchomp or do you fake out a Xerneas? Because we could potentially just Earthquake here. Oh, we can't Earthquake. We've got a Rock Slide. I think the opposing Xerneas has torn his war off. Yeah, it has. So it has the opportunity to go for... Um... I mean, the, the other thing is we could just go for the, the Rock Slide again and just go for a Dazzling Gleam here. And just... It, it, you can only fake out one thing and maybe you go for the Garchomp. Now you go for the Xerneas. So we can double flinch. Double, well, we can get another flinch onto the Xerneas. Come on, Garchomp. Believe that you are the flinch master. Come on. Ugh. Okay. A little bit sad. We need to win a speed tie then. We need to win a speed tie. Okay. We can do it. We can do it. We can win a speed tie. We haven't won one speed tie against the Xerneas, actually, which is a little bit sad. So we're going to win one. It's going to be this one here right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. That's what we're going to do. Uh, Dazzling Gleam should get the Xerneas. And, yeah, we probably get both with Dazzling Gleam Rock Slide. So let's just win the speed tie, and it'll all be fine. Come on, Zern. You can do it. You can do it, my boy. Blue, you're my boy. Anyone seen Old School? It's, uh, it's a cracking movie. I know Mr. Krim has. He's mentioned that before. But we've got to do this. Come on. Let's get this. Dazzling Gleam. Let's force it. Otherwise, it's all down to Bennett. And I don't know if Bennett can do it. I don't know if he can do it. It might be a bit too, too much for Bennett to do. Okay. We might be able to do this then. Dazzling Gleam. Is this enough to get the Incineroar? Hopefully it is not. Oh, but it's not. It's not. Come on, hit. We're going to see the... Um, we're going to see Rayquaza come in now, I think. With extreme speed. Make a lot of sense. I can hear a baby crying. I can hear a baby crying. There we go. Yeah, that's a problem. The Ray. Hmm. But we've got a way to do this. We sack, we sack Garchomp. Um, we, I think we need a double protect though. That's the only thing. Uh, I don't think I can. I don't think I can switch in Bennett in this situation because it probably will just go down. Um, hmm. So yeah, we'll need a double protect. I think, and there's no way I can get around not protecting here uh, because we'll just go down to an extreme speed. The Rayquaza will Mega Evolve. Mm. Yeah, we're going to need a double protect with Xerneas. And we, then we have to decide what we go for. Do we go for disable uh, onto require? So we can't do that, though. Yeah, we need to. I mean, we can do that because if we get the double protect, we definitely can. We're going to lose Garchomp here, though. Um, so I'm sorry if you can hear Baby crying in the background. Thea's sounding like she's, she's really upset with this situation that's going on right now. Moonblast into Garchomp. We're not even... Did we see an extreme speed? All right, we must have done. Okay. Bennett, this is your time to shine, my friend. If you've ever had a time to shine, this is it. So we've got a lot we, we need to fall into place right now. And then we still need to beat... Um, we still need to beat an Amoongus as well. Which is going to be pretty difficult, I think. 
because we lose Bonetti here, I'm pretty sure. Let's go disable into the Rayquaza and let's go for that double protect again. If we can get this, we can lock that Rayquaza out of that extreme speed. Um, I don't think we take, well, maybe we take a plus two Dazzling Gleam. I don't know though. I'm not 100% sure that we're going to be able to do this. We get it. Okay, we can maybe, maybe do this. Okay, disable. Bada bing, bada boom. Bennett, you are the king. Moonblast. If that was into Xerneas, that would be incredible. Yeah, we're not going to take that. No way. Um, okay, Bennett doing that. So giving us a lifeline here, I guess. Uh, the problem is, if the Rayquaza is sashed and we lose a speed tie, we're done for. But I feel like everything's fallen into place now for us to actually it not be sashed, us win the speed tie, clear the field now, and then Moonblast at Amoongus and win the game. It's all going to pan out like that. And that. I can see it. I can visualize it. Let's visualize the win. Come on, guys. Let's do this. Let's see. Come on. My, my rider is having a, a tough time now. He's like, God damn it. Double protect. And I don't blame him. So I'm not the biggest... Nah. Ryder wins the speed tie, the coin flip falls in his favour and we go down, which is very sad, but a very enjoyable game and we couldn't get the two wins, but not to worry my friends, we'll be back tomorrow in our next episode and we will give it a go again with this team, it feels a lot more solid, it feels like we're going to be able to do a lot more with this team, uh, the Amoongus there really, you know, I think... Like, the Giga Impact, knowing that the Giga Impact wasn't going to be enough. Like, if we knew that, we wouldn't have went for that in the first place. So that's good information for us going forward in similar situations. We need... We needed to keep Xerneas till the end fresh and just utilize that other Pokemon to maybe chip away at these Pokemon first and then bring Xerneas in the end. That would have been a better game plan, 100%. Uh, the Amoongus, I expected the Giga Impact to do a lot more damage and be very close to that knockout, but it didn't, unfortunately. And that's kind of our downfall in that match. We managed to get a Geomancy off and we dragged it out as much as we could, so we didn't do too badly, but we didn't get the win. But uh, two great games today. I hope you've enjoyed the kickoff with our roulette team this week. It's going be a lot of fun i can tell already remember we've got four buttons we can activate as well going into the rest of this week so and also don't don't forget to leave a comment leave a like to enter the draw for this um lovely flinch squad i heart flinch hat that you guys can get your hands on so thanks so much for tuning in guys have a great rest of your day and i will catch up with you again very soon we'll see you again tomorrow for another episode of our road to rank roulette series until then take care and bye bye